please join me in welcoming Henry Moody to Fresh Out Live. <laughs> Hello, mate. <laughs> Hello. Thank you, you very are, much for having me. You are, the pleasure is mine. New York City, we're so excited to have you. So <laughs> uh, let's dive right into it. Like so many of your fans, I love your sound. Uh, it gives me soul and style. But when someone asks you to describe your sound, how would you best put it? Ooh, I would say, Vulnerable. I try my best to just be as open as possible. My mum's like a therapist, so I've always been very like in touch with my emotions, as open as possible. Uh, I try my best to be organic um, and like sing a songwriter vibes, I guess. That's kind of my sound. I don't know. It's like it switches up depending on the song. I love it. Now, Drunk Text, we love it. You're going to be hitting Thank the you. stage to perform that record. Tell us about the track. You know, it's kind of self-explanatory, but yeah. tell us about yeah. Drunk Text. So Drunk Text is about um, a friend who I just kind of always wished I was like more than friends with. And then like one night I nearly sent a drunk text to this person, but instead the next day I wrote a song and I thought I'd call the song Drunk Text, brought it into the studio and then wrote the song. But the crazy thing is this person still has like no idea it's about them. And I haven't told a single person in my life, like not even my closest friends who it's about. So it's like the song's out in the world, but no one actually has any idea like who it's about. I love a good mystery. You gotta invite them to the show. A serious person. They say this song's for you. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Oh my goodness, Henry, you are no stranger to touring the stage and absolutely yep. shutting it down. You've supported acts like my girl Mimi Webb, as well as Lauren Spencer Smith in the past. But now is your time to shine. You are headlining your own tour for months now. What is it like to be a headliner, the main character? Oh my God. It is the most like surreal thing, seeing people who have connected with the song and then seeing them in real life and realizing like it's not just a number on a screen, it's like an actual person. Um, and yeah, supporting Mimi and Lauren was incredible. Like they are both, I feel like I've taken a lot of inspiration from them as artists as well and tried to incorporate it into my, my own set. And this is my first ever show in the US is next week. So <laughs> like, I, just from a small little town in England, I would have never thought I'd be coming to New York City and doing MTV, so thank you so much for having me, and I'm so excited for the show as well. Really Your talent speaks for itself, that's why you are here. Thank you. Because you have talent. And also, a really big social media presence. Yeah. We have to talk about social media being such a large part in your career, but how does it influence the way that you create your music to give to your fans that love you so much? You know what, I try my best when I'm writing a song not to think like, how is this gonna blow up on TikTok? How is this gonna blow up on Instagram? Because I think it can like really restrict you creatively. So I normally finish the song and then try my best to like, work it on TikTok, the classic like, if I just wrote the song of the summer, but um, just try my best. And I always take inspiration from what fans are saying online and like Twitter and stuff, like if they want me to put out this song next, because in some of the live shows I play like unreleased songs, so if they're like, put out this one next, then I work on that song and I'm constantly just like trying my best to, I'm like chronically online to be honest, like, so I'm always seeing what everyone's saying and trying to do my best to please them. Well, I'm a fan, and that saxophone duet that you did on TikTok, I'm like, oh, yeah. everybody's like, you need yeah. to make that a song, and I love instruments, so we'll talk about that later, but I, I want it. He's incredible, yeah, um, so good. I heard that you are a massive Swifty. Yes, <laughs> torture poets today. Listen, come on, hello, so in honor of her double album, I, I need to know what is your favorite Taylor Swift song of all time? Oh my God. Great question. What's my favorite Taylor Swift song? I feel like it switches, but at the moment it's a song called Tis the Damn Season from Evermore, which I don't know why. Yeah. Like, it's not even it's not even like Christmas, but I just love the song. It just gets you it's, in the mood. You know what's so weird? I've been listening to like loads of Christmas music recently. I have no idea why. I literally have no idea why, but I'm just like in the mood. For some reason it's like summer is coming. <laughs> <laughs> 